I am very devastated that I have finished reading a bit of a stretch. These, or this is the Diaries of a Prisoner, uh, as it's subtitled, written by Chris Atkins. And as soon as I saw this book, as soon as I saw that it existed, I knew I wanted to read it. I instantly felt like it would be incredible and I was not wrong. It's actually taken me a few months to read this because I refused to read more than a couple of pages a day because I just I didn't want it to end. So I'm going to go into a little bit of detail about this, but I'm not going to spoil anything about Atkins's journey or anything like that. I don't want to spoil the ins and outs because it really is absolutely fabulous. It will also give you a very good insight into what at least some prisons in the UK are like and it it made my blood boil a lot. There are a lot of really positive things in this that happen but there are also a lot of things that really made me very angry and wanted to punch several people and I'm not a violent person. So you can imagine how people who are, when people are in prison and they are violent by nature, and then they're encountering these situations, it's not going to go down well. So, basically, Chris Atkins was in Wandsworth Prison, and I will say, first of all, I don't think he should have been. He was imprisoned for the best part of two years, I believe, and because of, um, well, financial reasons. Basically, he he is a film producer or a filmmaker. He makes documentaries, and one of his was filmed, was funded... Um, by let's say an untrustworthy an untrustworthy source and that came back to bite him and even though he actually technically didn't do anything wrong because he didn't know about this until like really far down the line um yeah he went to prison for two years I don't think non-violent crimes should ever be punished by imprisonment it's absolutely pointless but at the same time slightly glad in this case if I can say that because this book is a fantastic read and very eye-opening and something that everybody should read regardless of your interest in prisons because one day you could end up in prison through no fault of your own people are wrongly imprisoned all of the time and it's very eye-opening it starts off with him first going to Wandsworth his initial experiences and he initially starts on let's say the lowest structure where basically everybody he was new to the prison goes and then he gets recategorized and he's ultimately trying to go to get cat d which is where he gets to go to an open prison but i will say this book is all set apart from the last couple of pages in wandsworth so it's all about him having cat c um and just before that as well and the we get to see the different styles of prison wings and he's on trinity and you can see the rules are a bit more relaxed there for certain people i was very very pleasantly surprised actually that a lot of inmates get to spend a lot of time out of their cells if they, if they volunteer to um, do various different things so for example there's one where you can deliver canteen every week which is basically where people have ordered something from a shopping list and you get to deliver what they've ordered um, you go to courses go to church things like that and it's really interesting to see that if you prove that you are responsible you get actually quite a lot of freedom's not the right word basically you get out what you put in for the most part um but don't fill in a general app is basically what i learned from this which means if you want anything from the prison system basically if you want something from your um kit that's been confiscated or if you want to be reallocated it's not going to happen we get to meet some to use their term screws which are basically the prison wardens and there are some very interesting characters there some very some nice, some quite corrupt. And it's great to kind of see the different personalities that Atkins encountered. It shows that there's no one type of prison guard or prison warden. You can't tarnish everybody with the same brush, just as you can't tarnish every prisoner. A lot of this book, um, I, I don't think this is a spoiler, a lot of this is about Atkins working as a listener. And a listener is basically trained by the Samaritans to listen to other prisoners who are feeling vulnerable um, suicidal or maybe they've tried to self-harm and you just talk to them one-on-one or sometimes two-on-one two listeners to one individual and you know it, it, it helps them it's like peer mentoring almost and that is a really positive thing you know if you have being a listener on your cv 
when you come out of prison, you've obviously got a much better chance of getting a job because it shows that you have compassion and you are quite worldly, you're willing to help others. It's just a really positive thing. But unfortunately, there are a lot of negative things, a lot of cutbacks. People aren't getting out of their cells at certain times when they're meant to be. They do not get enough phone calls. Visitations are often cut short. And, you know, there are a lot of positive things that are kind of extra, if I can say extra. But the fundamental part of being a human being, of being able to speak to your loved ones, of being able to receive a decent education, which you're supposed to be able to get through courses in prison, of being able to be reformed through the right actions, it's... A lot of it is missing and I do have to say this is just one's work and it, it does touch on the Birmingham prison riots though which is uh, I forgot that happened actually so that was it's a small little um, political trip as well back through the years. This was in 2014 um, by the way and it stretches just beyond that throughout his prison time. I feel like I could walk into Wandsworth prison now and be able to picture pretty much everything he's mentioned I'd be able to kind of I feel like I can smell it which is not a good thing but it's so descriptive and so detailed and I just feel like I'm there which has its benefits and also has its hindrances for me as a crime writer this is invaluable I'd love to tour every single prison in the UK that would be an amazing eye-opening opportunity but since I can't this book is brilliant and you know, heaven forbid if I ever ended up in prison under false accusation, Wandsworth would be the one I'd want to go to. It's it's an intense read. People do not get the medical help they need in prison. They are not always fed properly. There are drugs aplenty. And there's a lot of corruption. But there are positives. And Atkins definitely made the most of his experience, as anybody should. This is one of the best books I have ever read. I just wish that every prisoner would write one because I think every prisoner's experience is very different and a bit of a stretch is just one that I'm very sad to have finished because I truly loved every second of it.